Hi, this is Blake from the EPIC team. I'm on the downtown campus right now as we've been back to in-person classes for about a year. EPIC now includes seven project labs, numerous classes and activities, and hundreds of students, which we could only dream of before EPIC started in 2019, with a vision of bringing people together and learning by doing. We had great expectations as we set up our first classes, but then in March 2020, we were blindsided, along with the rest of the world. Our whole goal of learning and collaborating face-to-face -face had to be put on hold. COVID-19 spurred us to find ways of sustaining the program, both during the pandemic and afterward. We started the same solutions as everyone else. Meetings went online, and the website became a core focus for sharing updates. This worked well for labs like Politic, who were already using tools like Google Docs to write articles and do research. The popular history role-playing game, Reacting to the Past, moved to Slack, a chat platform that allowed students to team up, write statements, and campaign in a recreation of Atlanta's civil rights movement. But we also found new avenues to explore with digital tools for mapping and cataloging. ArcGIS has been around for years, but not many people know about it. This is a program that creates custom interactive maps that can be put into apps and websites. We were initially using it for the Mapping Atlanta Lab, but it spread to the Phoenix Project, which is building a map of the artifacts that were found during MARTA's construction in the 1970s. We've also been using technologies like Matterport scanners and 360 cameras to create virtual archives of landmarks like the Krog Street Tunnel. As we learned more about the spread of COVID-19, we started to take steps to reintroduce experiential learning in safe ways. One way we were doing this before the pandemic was walking tours. Getting students outside to explore historic downtown Atlanta not only offers a change of pace from normal class time, it offers fresh air, sunlight, and the room to spread out. The global pandemic posed a real challenge for the brand new EPIC program, but thankfully, it didn't shut us down. What started as a push for survival turned into a productive refresh in the way we plan learning experiences. We learned that no matter the size, challenges can be overcome, and there are always ways to make good learning more accessible to more people.